Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. For this week's episode of Art History Minute, I'm diving into Renaissance Portrait. She's not as well known as the Mona Lisa, but I think that she's equally as fascinating. This work is a memorial piece showing a noble woman named Giovanna Tornabuni. It hangs in the Thyssen Hornemitsa Museum in Spain. I recently did an episode of this museum on musty masterpieces, so make sure to check that video out. This Renaissance portrait was painted by Domenico Ghirlandaio around 1488. It features a beautiful noblewoman named Giovanna Tornabuni. Sadly, it was commissioned by her husband about two years after her death so that he had something to remember her by. There are other portraits of her from life, which is how art historians identified her. Giovanna's carefully curled hair and proportional facial structure speak to her status as a member of the noble class. Her dress would have been at the height of fashion at the time. The side profile style of this portrait is fairly standard for this period. As with many Renaissance portraits, there is a use of symbolism here that helps the viewer to understand the sitter's personality. For example, there are coral rosary beads in the right hand corner. These show her piety and devotion. In addition, her beauty and the epigram behind her speak to how her outside appearance reflected her piety as well. Her husband wanted her to be remembered as someone who was beautiful inside and out. Portraiture provides a portal into the past. It's not just about capturing the sitter's appearance but also their personalities. This way they are remembered for who they are and not just what they look like. 